Linus Torvalds is likely a name you're not familiar with, but it's likely you use the software every day. Born on December 1969, Linus grew up in Helsinki, Finland, where his dad was a politician. His parents got divorced when he was young, so he spent most of his childhood with his mom and grandparents. In the mid-70s, his grandfather bought him one of the first personal computers on the market, the Commodore VIC-20, and he started to learn BASIC, a programming language. In 1987, Linus bought his first computer, the Sinclair QL, which he used to learn more about programming and for his college courses at the University of Helsinki. In 1991, he got his first IBM-compatible PC, which was when he started to work on Linux, which he based off of both Minix, an early operating system that acted as a clone of Unix and was affordable, and Unix, which was one of the first widely adopted operating systems made by Bell Labs. He did this because Unix cost over $5,000 at the time, and because Minix was not fully open-sourced, meaning that not all the code was accessible. Torvalds originally wanted Linux to be named Freaks, a combination of Free, Freak, and Minix. But when his friend, Ari Lemke, uploaded the source code onto university servers for people to access, he named the directory Linux, and it stuck. Torvalds decided to license Linux under the GPL, which stands for GNU General Public License, which allows anyone to study, modify, use, and redistribute the software, as long as they publicly release the source code that they create and redistribute. Because of the choice to use such a liberal license, programmers from all around the world started to work on Linux, shaping what it is today. By 1997, it was estimated that Linux was on more than 3 million computers, the very same year Linus moved to Santa Clara, California, which placed him in the heart of the tech world, Silicon Valley. In the late 90s, due to its growth and success, Linux was starting to be largely adopted as the choice operating system for hosting web servers, and today almost every website runs Linux. Nowadays, Linux can be found anywhere, whether you're using an Android phone, visiting a website, or even turning down the temp on your smart thermostat. Torvalds is now married to his wife Tove and has three children, Daniela, Patricia, and Celeste. He currently works full-time being the head maintainer of the Linux kernel, living in Portland, Oregon. 